Coagulation, flocculation, and balloons. <coughs> you can see here that normally balloons have no real charge and don't attract or repel each other. Everyone knows if you rub a balloon on your head, you'll give it static cling. What you are essentially doing is transferring the negative electrons from your head to the balloon. And this switches it from a neutral to a negative charge. Electrons are negative. Now, when you put this negatively charged balloon next to the neutral or non-charged balloon, nothing really happens because the other balloon has no electrical characteristics to react with. But let's see what happens when I give the other balloon a negative charge and put them together. Can you guess? I'll give you a hint. Have you ever tried to put two ends of the same magnet together? What happened? As you can see, that because they both have the same charge, the balloons repel each other, and they actually defy gravity a bit and bend up. This is colloidal suspension in a nutshell. The balloons represent dust particles in the water with negative electrokinetic charges on them and they always want to repel each other. As a result, they'll do anything to get away, even defy gravity. So, as a water treatment operator, what can we do? Well, the answer is to clump together enough of these particles so that they are no longer small and can be filtered or just settle out on their own depending on how long you're willing to wait. So we saw how two negatively charged balloons repel each other. Let's see what happens when you put a positively charged thing around them. Like my hand. My whole body became positively charged after I transferred my negative electrons to the balloons. Look at that! The balloons came together and they stuck to my hand. So we saw that by putting a positively charged thing around negatively charged things, we can get them to magnetically clump together around it. The balloons represent all of the particles in the raw water that are too small and light to settle out or be filtered out on their own. My heavy positively charged hand represents the coagulant we dose into the water. Typically it's alum, but it can be other chemicals as well. The process of coagulation is quickly mixing or flash mixing the chemical coagulant like alum into the water. The process of flocculation is gently mixing the water right after coagulation so that the coagulant can stick to as many particles as possible and clump into large flock pieces. This makes it possible for the flock to either settle or be filtered out. Hold on to your hats because you just learned the principles of coagulation and flocculation.